and the winner is. Award shows. Some people love them. Some people hate them. What the fuck is, what is that? And some are a Miss Man's nightmare. For best picture. La La Land. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won best picture. Oh man, I can't. For anyone who doesn't know, award shows are huge organized ceremonies where awards are giving out the people who be making big moves. Everyone knows about the hit classics, right? The Oscars, the Grammys, the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. You know, straight bangers. But award shows aren't always at the giant level, you know? They even exist in niches of the entertainment industry. You got the Game Awards, the Esports Awards, the Streamer Awards. They all celebrate talents in this landscape. And with the wave of VTubers in the entertainment industry, there was no doubt that VTubers would also get recognized for their hard work. Without a lot of scuff. And no matter what happens, no matter how big or small one makes it, there always seems to be some problem, some drama. So let's talk about it. God, I need a new career path. I'm going to introduce some VTuber award shows, the drama behind them, and how a lot of the drama is very, very ass. Because I got opinions, and these opinions got hands. Get some snacks, get some water, get your very own slime cannon. And let's get on with the video. Several streamers and creative personalities are recognized for what they do in the live streaming industry. And with the wave of virtual creators, it's worth recognizing their abilities. However, with regard to gauging a vast niche like VTubing, how do award shows represent them? It's kind of- yes! Let's look at some past streamer award shows. Or rather, what I like to call the V Sojo Takeover. Who chose these nominees? Look, look at this! Look at this! If we take three of the past live streaming award shows and calculate how much V Sojo had a presence, V Sojo took up 68% of nominee spots. <laughs> Come on, man! That's too easy! The 2023 Stream Awards managed to input some indie VTubers into the mix, but, uh, there was a lot of scuff. You cannot be serious! And although the Streamy Awards diversified this year, y'all can debate about that Sorry, in the comments. Like... But the issue of proper representation creates a certain thought process for many creators. If award ceremonies fail to represent VTuber culture, why don't we create our own award show to properly showcase them? Which is what indie VTuber affiliate, in collaboration with Mythic Talent, thought as she announced the first annual annual VTuber awards. And apparently she wasn't the only one. One of my upcoming projects I was working on is literally the VTuber awards, not theirs though. I have been working on a VTuber award show. Hey yo, what the f I don't know how, but there are now three ceremonies dedicating to honoring the VTuber industry. Fillion with Mythic Talent, I Am Mouse with V Sojo, and Takahata with Takahata. Now of course some people were fired up. An award show dedicated to all VTubers? That sounds fun, you know, I dig it. But you see, I have a special radar for chaos and drama. I got that scatter on deck, you feel me? And right when Shadi announced the VTuber awards, I predicted. Now call this brother Dr. Strange, I foresaw that the amount of drama that would spawn from this type of event would be an interesting ride. Maybe I'm just sparking the fire, you know? A content fiend, if you will. A content fiend would usually tell you to subscribe to the channel right now, but sometimes you gotta turn off that content brain, you know? Surely we can have a fun ceremony to come together as a community and all be happy, right? <laughs> What the f going on in Miami, bro? That is like the opposite of what happened. Now, there are some valid concerns. We care. Some fans, given the out of touch history of past award shows, are hoping that this event represents all types of VTubers instead of just showing off the biggest talents in one group. You know, understandable reasons why people don't like these events. It ain't everybody thing. But some people, some people love the bitch and whine and wah, wah, wah. I don't want to hear it. People complain that it's only going to show off the big VTubers and overshadow the small creators that put in countless days and hours and quote unquote deserve it. Have y'all never watched an award show before? From a viewer perspective, why wouldn't they recognize nice top celebrities who left a massive impact on people. It is what it is. Sorry, Uwu Kitty Princess who streams Valorant for six hours a day. I forgot to give you a trophy because you aren't like the other girls. You might be even worse. But with regard to, you know, shedding a light on small creators, I completely get it. I completely understand wanting to shine a light on unseen talented individuals rather than the most popular names. You know, show off some small creators under the radar and hidden gems that deserve to shine. So why not make an award show dedicated to showing off small creators? And this is where Petra Coral, the queen of stars, comes into play here. On June 1st, Petra Coral announced that she would organize her own VTuber award show to recognize smaller VTubers. There's a common feeling of 
being overlooked, excluded, and underappreciated due to shows that focus on large creators. Moreover, there's an insane amount of talent that just hasn't been discovered yet, and I want to help people find the joy of being celebrated. The following day, she opened nominations to anyone, your faves, your friend, your mom, or even yourself as hidden gems. Next month, after receiving over 6,000 entries, including fellows entering the likes of Iron Mouse, Moikolai P, and Voice Critical, Petri selected 95 nominees for 16 categories. And after a gruesome period of organization, on August 12th, she hosted and live streamed the Hidden Gem VTuber Awards. And Shadi did all of this by herself. And the show? It was kinda nice! Presentation was on fleek, the quality was well done, Shadi had a sponsor in there and got her money. Unlike me. But my nigga, this shit is low key fire. After so many people on Twitter hated award shows for being too big, some kind soul went out their way to recognize entertaining talents that haven't been widely discovered. So, for the love of God, check the link in the description and show Petrocoil some love. In general, the response from the community was hella positive. People who won the rewards felt appreciated, those who were nominated felt honored by their communities, and hell, being mentioned in general in the credits allowed several small VTubers to feel seen for their work. What an amazing show. Showcase. Clearly, there won't be any immature drama, right? Maybe I'm just tripping, bro. Certainly, no one's genuinely mad about this. Oh my God! They are. I don't care if I get a bad rep. I'm calling this out as it is. Community baiting and insulting to so many. Anybody with a modest community can win. To call these people best or most is insane talk. Someone with clearly good intentions to uplift others is seen as community baiting and insulting. Why ain't no way, boy? If you're a VTuber, ignore this absolute dog and phony show. Oh, so now we're just being disrespectful. I can think of so many that fit these categories a hundred times better that just don't have the reach to receive a vote. I've matched the best endurance streamer and broken it seven times in the past two weeks alone, and I know many more who take that higher than I do. As you can see, it seems that they stream video games a lot for long periods of time. <laughs> I ain't reading all that. In case this goes anywhere behind my feed, this isn't a call out post or anything. This is genuine concern for my friends and mutuals. Ah, hey, y'all, come look at this. I'm calling this out as it is community baiting and insulting to so many. <laughs> Petri responded to this VTuber by saying how she did voting to remove her own bias and set a rule to include any VTuber under 100 concurrent viewers. And if you look at the streamer awards, this is also how they classify hidden gems. This VTuber's response? Under 100 average isn't a hidden gem. Why did you say that like it was a completely normal sentence? Please let it just be one person. <laughs> It's not. Some of these nominees are not underrated by any stretch and are not small. The whole thing was bad and felt like a slap in the face. Why are you putting self-worth into an award show? It's just some goddamn popularity contest. The one that I can't win or even have a chance to take a bite at. Why are you putting self-worth into an award Come show? Come on! Am I not valid? I stream almost every day and night, nine hours for my phone. We do not care. <laughs> Serious or what? Let me get this straight. Some small VTubers who got baby rage upset at VTuber award shows for being too big are now complaining that this small VTuber award show wasn't small enough. You cannot be for real. Some kind show organized a show meant to celebrate, be chill, and uplift. And you gotta find something to be mad at? Don't just be complaining about everything that don't work for you instead of getting better. They're bigger than me. I've worked countless years. Shut your bitch ass! That ain't my problem! Maybe I guess you got some more growing to do. And I understand it's just some people people whining, but when a ton of people vocalize complaints over meaningless crap, it understandably ruins the mentality for everyone involved. Anytime there's like anybody wants to do anything nice or like progress, it's always the obnoxious minority that just yells and then turns into the majority. Mm. And it's just like, congrats, you just set us back, dog. But of course, it is what it is. So why am I talking about award shows? VTubers have never had the best representation at streamer award shows. So to see creators go out of their way to represent the community in whatever way possible, should be appreciated, but there's a lot of drama and complaints around these events as they supposedly only show off the big names, which to some extent I completely understand wanting to show love to small creators. So when a kind soul decides to go out their way to organize something amazing for hidden talents, that's low-key amazing. Yet to see even more complaints from its surface? Why are award shows this controversial? Why should a nomination or an event leave so much weight on one's mental energy and self-worth? Because that defeatist mindset I'm seeing from a lot of people is making making them look at content creation completely wrong. The harsh reality is that if you're a small creator, you aren't small because bigger creators steal your spotlight. You're small because you haven't made it yet with what you are doing. You either haven't had your big break yet, you either aren't consistent with engagement, 
or you're just boring as hell. There will always be people with a better eye or better luck, and they'll be appreciated for their hard work. So instead of viewing this industry as an us versus them battle, take the viewpoint of what can I do to improve my content to leave an impact, to break the algorithm, to get that reward I seek for. Maybe you'll receive that reward you've been looking for. And maybe we can stop these award shows from being weirdly controversial. Toledo, what would you do if you hosted an award show? And welcome to Toledo's VTubers Built Different! Our categories include the hottest VTuber! <laughs> The VTuber with the flattest ass. The VTuber with the crappiest computer known to mankind. The VTuber who's wanted in 31st world countries for accounts of arson and manslaughter. You got me. <laughs> Odds ban that guy and blow up his house. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Like the video and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments on this as this is an interesting topic. If you couldn't tell, we have a new design. Shout out to Eru underscore Nick for bringing it to life. And drink water or there'll be no award given to you. For the love of God! Oh, man, I can't have